Hey everybody, this is example number four for mechanics of materials covering torsion. The problem statement that we have is the A36 steel shaft shown in the figure below experiences a uniform distributed torque. The diameter of the shaft is 100 millimeters and we need to calculate the angle of twist at NB with respect to A. And the shear modulus of elasticity of A36 steel we can take as G equals 75 gigapascals. So here's our A36 steel shaft. It has a total length of 1,000 millimeters or one meter, and it's uh, subjected to a uniform distributed uh, torque equal to five kilonewton meters per meter. And we need to find the angle of twist of B with respect to A. The first thing we're going to do is calculate the polar moment of inertia that's de denoted as J. And J for a solid circular shaft is equal to pi over 2 times c to the fourth power, where c is the outer radius of the cross section of the shaft. So we plug in the numbers, pi over 2, and then the diameter is 100 millimeters, which is equal to 0.1 meters, and we divide by 2 to get it in, to con make it into a radius to the fourth power. So j is equal to uh, 9.82 times 10 to the negative 6 and you guys can get access to this uh, to this spreadsheet along with a bunch of other spreadsheets at our website at engineeringexamples.net so 9.82 times 10 to the 9.82 times 10 to the negative 6 meters to the fourth power now we can calculate the angle of twist uh, using this formula the angle of twist of B with respect with respect to A is equal to the integral of 0 to L of the internal torque divided by the polar moment of inertia times the times the shear modulus. So we're integrating from 0 to L because B is at the free end and A is at the is at the fixed end and so since and so that's why we're integrating along the whole length and we notice in this integral that j and g because because a cross-sectional area is constant throughout the whole shaft j will be constant and because uh, the material is constant throughout the whole shaft g will be constant so these are not a function of, of the length so these are so these are constant values and therefore we can move this outside of the integral to simplify things so we're left with the integral of 0 to L. Uh, we're integrating the internal torque from 0 to L. And so we need to express the internal torque as a function of x. And the way we do that is I've drawn this, I've drawn this free, free body diagram. I took a sectional cut along the shaft at an arbitrary location. And I show, an inter I show the internal torque in the, in the positive direction using the right hand rule and we have the external torque that's acting so we just sum the torques and so when we sum the torques it's going to be equal to negative 5 times 10 to the third times x plus the internal torque so the internal torque is equal to 5 times 10 to the third times x once we have the internal torque as a function of x we can plug it into the integral and here's what we have and we're integrating from 0 to 1 meter which is 0 to L and we can simplify this integral even further by moving this 5 times 10 to the third to the outside of the integral because this is constant. So all we're integrating is x from 0 to 1. And when you integrate x, you end up with x squared over 2. Integrate it from 0 to 1. And here we have, we just plug in the numbers and we find that the angle of twist is equal to... 0 0.0034 radians 0 0.0034 radians or uh, 0.195 degrees 0.195 degrees so this is our final answer and this is the end of this example please subscribe to the channel and if you need access to the spreadsheets, not just this spreadsheet, but, but a bunch of other spreadsheets, check out our website at engineeringexamples.net. Thanks.